Welcome back to my channel. So, as some of you may have seen in my videos before, I'm collecting the Eagle Moss Star Trek collection, right up there on the shelf. And I need to get a new shelf because I'm running out of space and this shelf isn't um, so pretty. But it was okay for the first shelf I've got. And I recently got one of the um, exclusive editions, which you could only get if you subscribe the magazine. Um, of course, you have to pay for these exclusive things, um, except the gifts, which I will show you in my collection with with my collection uh, real quick. So these are the ones which I have got before, and I, the, because I've subscribed to the magazine. I also got the Nightlight Borg Cube, which is in the background. And over there is the Borg Sphere. And I believe this is the... Yep. Uh, the USS Reliant. And a Tolian spaceship. And as you can see, I'm running out of space. And there is a Romulan Warbird. A Klingon Warbird, Bird of Prey, a modern Klingon Bird of Prey, and there's a Cardassian spaceship in the background, and this one, which I don't remember the name of. Um, this is the. Yep. Still don't know the name on the background. Or the Akira class, so and because I'm running out of space, my Romulan bird of prey just fell down from the shelf, and I have to glue on the warp thingies back on. And down there, I've got all the Federation spaceships, and of course the USS Enterprise plaque in the background, which was also a gift. If you subscribe the magazine, and there's the NCC 2000, the Excelsior, um, the NX-01 Enterprise, of course the Voyager, the original Enterprise, and there's the Enterprise of the Future, which is also a gift for subscribing the magazine, um, the Enterprise D, and the USS Defined. So, and then let's unbox the USS Enterprise from the 2009 movie. Um, all of these little chips come with the magazine. Um, this is the one for, for this exclusive edition uh, with some art in it and some, some data, some the measurements, how many rooms in there, some pictures. So there's quite a bit of information in those magazines. But I don't collect them for the magazines. I collect them for the ships. So let's open the USS Enterprise from the 2009 movie. Inside is a little styrofoam box. Gently lifting that. Wow, it's huge. So it's huger than the other ones. And I think this part came loose. I have to glue that back on. They're pretty detailed, but they're not that high quality made. So inside is a little stand for it and the ship. Let's put the package aside, which I will keep, which will go into my cellar, where I keep all my boxes. So you have a little base and styrofoam on your hands. <laughs> um, let's open that. Whee! 
I just put in this little part, which should hold the Enterprise. Pretty good. Um, like that? Nope. Like that. That's more like it. So let me get the Enterprise uh, from the series before. Just to show you how big this exclusive edition is. Also, it's it's pretty, 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 pretty um, big compared to this one. Of course, there are bigger models of the USS Enterprise, of course. But from this series of ships, this might be the biggest one they made. So as clearly as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the usual um, models they are selling. So the normal models are about um, 20 bucks, 20 US dollars in Germany. Um, so about 16 euros and this one is of course um, more expensive it's about 30 euros um, which should be about 33 34 35 dollars uh, but but it's okay uh, I'm glad to pay that amount of money because they're nicely made they're made of metal so they're die cast um, of course, there's some plastic parts on them, so the warp um, thingies are made of plastic and also the base is made of plastic, the ship itself. Um, but the... Uh, what's the English word? In German it's Untertassensektion. I don't know. I will look up and, and, as usual, write it down, or, as I had in the video before, just get it in my mind when uploading the video. So, you guys, that's the NCC-1701 USS Enterprise, the original from Captain James T. Kirk from the 60s, and the new one from the 2009 movies. I love it. I have to get more shelf space for them. Um, yeah, if you got some ideas for them, maybe I hang them under this, um, on the ceiling. What do you guys think? Should I hang them on the ceiling? Because you only see the under the underside of them if you were hanging them on the ceiling. So I could twist them up or hang them like that. Should be looking cool. Because I, I got space on the ceiling, but I got no space on my shelves anymore. But I love those, and I definitely will collect all of the other ships which will come out. And I also will get some of these surprises, uh, which you only get if you subscribe to the magazine. And if you like, I open all my future uh, packages with you of these chips. Uh, uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you subscribe to my channel and live long and prosper.